What's up, people? Here's my tank. I haven't done an update in a while. Just got some more Oscars. Got five Oscars in this tank now. This is my two. This is my one of my originals right here, Mayhem, the albino. And then tank right here, the big guy. And then this guy right here is the new guy. Tiger Oscar. This right here, this guy's a new guy. And then this guy over here is a new guy. Yeah. It's looking pretty sweet. I already know what you guys are going to say. Too many Oscars for 135. I know this. I understand. That's why this was purchased. 100 gallon acrylic tank. Yeah. Check this bad boy out. Let me get some light in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my Severums from the 135 into here. Probably put a green tear. Maybe put my Baclostomus in here. My Pleco. <clears throat> Maybe the Catfish. We'll see. But definitely the Severums are going in here. Got the Reina XP3. Got hooked up by my buddy. He works at a pet store. Basically part owner. Helped me out. Hooked me up with this filter. Never used Reina. I just had the Fluval in the other tank. So, I don't know. He said he ran it with his salt water when he was doing salt water. He said he loved it. I don't know. Don't know too much about the company. Heard good reviews, heard bad reviews, but, I mean, I guess it's going to be with anything, right? So, I picked this tank up. It's a used tank. Um, he, he, The guy that I got it from, he was running fresh water, but he had a sump. So, uh, you know, I don't know too much about all the sump filtration or whatnot, but I believe these were part of the uh, sump filtration that he had, and this deal over here. It's really rough looking. This, this is going to be a freshwater tank. This is just kind of like an emergency tank. One of my <clears throat> guy I used to work with, he was going to Tennessee. He had the Oscars. He's like, dude, can you take them? I said, absolutely. So I didn't really want to get rid of my other fish, so I just ended up getting a cheapy tank. I picked this thing up for 80 bucks. Um, luckily, I still had the heaters left from my old tank, you know, because I had purchased the new heaters, the Eheim heaters. Had the two, um, T8 uh, light fixtures. They're just kind of chilling. It doesn't have tops on this, which I don't care for. I've had a lot of evaporation since I've had this set up. So this was where the water was at. And this is where the water's at now. This is over uh, about a week period of time. So I got to figure out how I'm going to keep the um, water in there. So I'm going to try to pick up some acrylic or something, some cheapy old. I don't know, just something to keep the water in there. So it's not the best looking tank. It's got this blue shit on the bottom. I don't know what this guy was trying to do, but he painted this bottom portion of it. I don't know what he was trying to do on the bottom portion of it on the underneath, but it's all kind of fucked up. I mean, the main thing, it's holding water. It looks, you know, beat up, tore up, whatever. I don't know, he said he only used it for a few months, and... Um, so, you know, whatever. It's holding water. It's kind of ugly, but it's all good. It's all good. So I'm going to get this filter set up today. Just going to grab something to eat real quick. I figured I'd uh, do a little video update. It's been a while. Get the filter set up. Um, good thing is, is that I'm going to move some, uh, some of the biological media from my old Fluval canister. Put that in the new... Uh, Reina filter canister. I'm gonna just throw in a bunch of dirty water into this thing. That way it gets set up really quickly. It's gonna be nice. I like it already. I need a new stand. Yes, I know this. This is a coffee table stand and this thing, this tank sticks out about like two inches. See, this is where the coffee table ends. This is where the fish tank ends. It's like this on both sides. Luckily, it fits the depth of it. It fits this way. So I'm lucky there. Um, I don't know. It's just it's making me real nervous. There's a lot of weight on that coffee table, so hopefully it, it holds up. I'm not going to put any rock or anything like that in there. Um, I do have that one stone in there holding the... Uh, um, the air bubbles down. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm just going to dump the fish in there. I, I'm just going to keep it like this until I figure out what I'm going to do with the stand. That way it's just easier to um, to drain and, and move around if I need to a little bit later. If anybody knows of a person that's trying to get rid of a stand, hit me up. It needs to be 20, I think it's about 20 inches deep, and it's about 57, we'll say 58 inches wide. Um... Yeah, so hit me up. I'd appreciate it. I've been trying to find a stand. Apparently, this is an awkward size, so I might have to get it custom made. Um, I don't know how this filter is going to work exactly because how low the, this tank is sitting. Um, from my understanding, there's got to be some room for the canister to to work from the bottom of the tank to like where it's sitting. So I, I don't know. I have to get into this and figure. I might not even be able to set this up tonight. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty excited, though. This is going to be a fun project. All right, guys. Peace.